First of all, I want to say, what do we think about the new kit? Christmas present. Second thing I want to say, Hodgson out. Um, yeah, I don't need to say much more than that. What I saw on Boxing Day really, really pissed me off to the maximum because I'm fucking tired of this shit. I really, really am tired of watching the same old boring, boring shit. Villa were down to 10 men and it looked like it was us that was down to 10 men. How the fuck is that even possible? How how on earth is that possible? I mean, seriously? Like, they played the entire second half with ten men and they still scored two goals! I mean... <laughs> we're just really the laughing stock of the Premier League at the moment. Part of me's thinking, do we even deserve to be here? Right? Keep playing like this, I fucking tell you. Sorry, bear with me, I'm just changing bloody... Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, no, I'm I'm f still fucking furious with that shit that I had to watch on Boxing Day. It really spoiled my Boxing Day because I just wanted to go and lie down in a dark room. I didn't want to be alive. Like... <sighs> People will tell me, you're overreacting, you're, don't, you're doing this. I ain't overreacting, trust me. <sighs> Listen, if I'm overreacting, then <sighs> tell me. But I know what I saw on Boxing Day, and that was nothing short of an utter, shambolic, disgraceful team. You know, Half of that team do not deserve to wear the shirt. Do not deserve to put on the shirt. Half of them should be fucking sold. I mean, where do I even start? Van Arnholt was again another fucking liability. Why is he starting in the team? Why? What What does he does? What does he do to credit a deserving a start in the team? What's Riedewald got to do? What's Mitchell got to do to get a start in this team? Why is Luka Milivojevic in this team? What What is What is Riedewald got to do? I feel really, really sorry for that man because he deserves so much more than this club. I mean. <sighs> The commentator said it there. It's his 50th appearance for the club. And he's been here like two, three years. I mean... <sighs> Something's not right with this club. The mentality of this club... We're acting like a very, very small club right now. For me, my only my only way out of this is to get rid of the manager. He's, he's, just, he's just simply not cut out for this. He's too old, he's boring, he's, he's like a dinosaur to the game, really, if you ask me. <sighs> so this this video was basically more of a combination of the reviewed Villa game and the preview to the Leicester game. We're playing Leicester today. We're playing Leicester today, who are second in the fucking league. Do you know what? Do you know what? I actually think Vardy is actually going to score a fucking hat-trick against us today. And it would not surprise me. It would not surprise me how the mentality of this club is a sh is, sh is, sh is shambolic. It really is shambolic. I mean, this is probably... I've got probably two more videos using this setup. And then I've got a brand new setup coming. You know, I've got a camera. I've got a video, cord, video recorder. I've got my... Um, Elgato gaming system card come through. So this is probably the last last two videos you're gonna see me just talking to a phone essentially. Um so I am gonna move on to this Leicester game. And what can I say? What can I already have what can I say that I haven't already said? I'm expecting a loss. I'm not expecting anything from the game, I'm not expecting us to score. I mean, <sighs> Sheffield United is the big one on the new on the turn of New Year. If we don't win that game, then serious questions have got to be asked of Roy Hodgson. Serious questions. I mean, I'm already questioning him. You know, the fact that we've conceded ten goals in two games for a Premier League club to concede ten goals in two games is a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. 
And I'll tell you what, if COVID wasn't going on right now and fans were allowed in the ground, I'd be holding my banner up to get him out. Because trust me, I'm on the verge of losing my shit with him. Because what I saw on Boxing Day was nothing short of a fucking disgrace. But I keep saying this, I wanted a positive response. Where was the positive in any of that performance? Somebody tell me, where was the positive? There's no, There was no positives whatsoever. I mean, the only positive thing was that I got to spend Christmas with some family. That's the only positive I saw. I mean, yes, it was a reduced Christmas because of fucking COVID going on at the moment, but I'm really starting to lose the plot with this team. I really am. But I will go on to the fact that we're playing Leicester on... We're playing Leicester today. Oh, my God. I expect nothing... I expect nothing more than a... I expect to, I expect to thrash in, because... This team is just not good enough. Half of this team is not good enough. I mean, at this rate, we are going to be seriously plunged into a relegation battle because, uh, yes, we're eight points above the drop zone, but I only see us dropping down further with these results and the team mentality. I mean, they're just so defensive, it's boring. I looked at a tweet I saw the other day comparing Hodgson to Pardew. The only thing he's got more is one more point... And fewer goals conceded. And but eight goals scored less by the time that Pardew got sacked for his last 20 games. I saw that Pardew had 18 points, 28 goals scored, 35, 38 conceded. Hodgson, on the other hand, 19 points, 20 goals scored, 35 conceded. We've got 18 points out of our last 72 available. If that's not a club that's in serious relegation trouble, what is? What is what's going to take? What's it going to take for Parish to get rid of him? I mean, you can call me being harsh, you can call me whatever you want me to be, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, 18 points out of 72 is dog shit. It really is dog shit. For a manager that's barely, this is turning nearly seventy-five soon. Why is he still managing? What 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 does he just what does he do to deserve a contract? I don't understand. Help us fans try and understand why he deserves a new contract. I mean, I don't think he deserves a new contract at all. I think he should go right now. If he doesn't go now. I'd probably give him the January window, and if he's not changed anything after that, then he's got to go. It's as simple as that. And I'm trying to be as fair as I can. But how can I support a manager that's allowed... A, how can I support a manager that's picked the same team twice and they've conceded ten goals? Ten! It's, it drives me mad, this team. It really drives me mad, because... Because the thing is, Brendan Rodgers for Leicester is such a good manager. I wish we could have got him, but... There's all these people that are going on about... Yeah, you're talking shit. Am I talking shit now? Am I talking shit now? Because trust me, there's managers that I take for instead of Hodgson right now. Really, seriously, I would right now. Anybody. Anybody that's not old and doesn't play defensive football... Seriously, not good enough. Not good enough at all. And I do want to see a response today. But am I going to see one? Probably not, because they probably don't fucking care. This team just don't care. I've been talking for nearly ten minutes already, and I could still talk for another hour. This team just seriously just wind me up. Because, well, I'm trying to think positive, but I, I can't think positive at the moment about this team. I've got no, no ambition, no passion, no ambition, no passion, no fight. They don't care, simply, in my opinion. 
and I want to be proved wrong, but they're actually proving me right at the moment. They're actually proving me right. The, te the changes I want to see in the team is I want to see Van Arnold out of the team. Van Arnold's not good enough. I'm sorry, he's not good enough. I also want to see Luka Milivojevic out of the team as well. I mean, come on. Don't put that, don't put him in because all he's going to do is bring someone down, get a yellow card and then you have to take him off like you did against Villa. And guess what? We we were nearly down to 10 men as well. I mean, Villa had 10 men for the entire second half and it looked like it was us that had the 10 men. I mean, <sighs> disgraceful. I want to see a reaction and if I don't, I'm not going to be happy. But... It's Palace, what can I say? Anyway, I've been rambling on for too long now, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like, please give it a thumbs up, and um, I'll hopefully see you in my new setup very, very soon. Until then, I will catch you later.